Hi everyone. Okay, as you can see, I have my jailbird um, uh, tank top on because I'm going to do a video response to Justin, Sugar, and Lance, and I am apologizing over and over and over again because I didn't get it done within the 12 hour um, whatever. Just stop it. So anyway, I love serial killers. I have a book about serial killers that I love to read about. Um, I, I just got some email. Sorry for the loud ring. Um, but I'm going to tell you about a, you know, a few of the serial killers that have been on death row for quite a few years. But this video is also going to be about um, the death penalty um, and how I feel about it, my views on it, and um, what I think I should, what I think should happen uh, because I personally think that men and women are on death row a little too long. John Wayne Gacy killed 33 men and boys and buried them under his mother's house. Okay, now this man was on death row for 14 years and became like a hero, a mascot, an awesome artist, a wonderful individual. What the hell his last meal was? Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm not a mass murderer. Do I get Kentucky Fried Chicken? Hell no, I don't. Timothy McVeigh killed all the children, men and women, in the Oklahoma City bombings. He was on death row for seven years. He got two pints of ice cream as his last meal, okay? Now, he was on death row for seven years. They get cable, TV, radio, whatever they want. Do I have cable TV? No. Ted Bundy, who is a very, very suave man who killed over 40 women and raped and killed a 12-year-old girl. He escaped from prison two times. How in the hell does that happen? And he was on death row for um, 15 plus years. Sorry, I had to write it down. There's too many of them. 15 plus years. What? Okay, now it gets better. Because now we have the life sentences. Okay? Which are Charles Manson. Y'all know him. I don't have to tell you what he did. Um, the Green River Killer, which is Gary Ridgway, who killed um, 48 prostitutes in Seattle, Washington. He has, uh, he's, he's in prison for life. So I'm assuming he gets better care than I do if he gets cable TV. That's all I gotta say. And the last one I'm going to talk about before I tell you what I think should be done is the BTK killer. Um, he killed, uh, oh, doesn't say it, but he has 10 life sentences, okay? I know he killed a massive amount, and um, it was bound, tie, uh, yeah, I can't remember that, but there's too many. This is ridiculous, okay? Ten life sentences. Um, I don't understand. 
Now I'm going to tell you how I would handle it if I were the person in charge. I do believe in the death penalty, especially if there are solid facts, forensic facts, that they are the individual that committed the crime. If they are the individual that committed the crime, why are they taking up space for that long? Why are your tax dollars, because I can't say mine, I don't have a job, your tax dollars paying for them? You know what I'm saying? Why? I don't understand. That's not right. Second of all, all this bull about them being on death row for 14 years, um, that shit wouldn't fly. Hell no. I think if you commit the crime, you then you ask for your destiny, which I believe then your life should be taken. Now, the only way I believe your life should be taken is if the crime is is very heinous. If the crime is, you know, I mean, murder is murder. Okay, I understand that. Murder is murder. Anyone that murders someone and the facts are there. I, and they are convicted to death row or to death. They should be put to death immediately. I don't believe they should have time to, I, I just don't think they should have time to appeal. If, if the facts are there, it's time to go. That's just my opinion. Now, a lot of people are going to disagree with me on all these things that I'm saying, and that's fine. This is just a subject that, you know, me and Justin wanted to discuss. Um, everybody has their own opinions on this. But even more so, if it's a child killer, a baby killer, a baby rapist, a molester. In my opinion, that right there, if it's proven beyond a shadow of a doubt, the facts are there. Um, why let them go so they can do it again? I don't understand. Now, can someone help me out with that? Because I don't understand that one. So, this is what I'm saying. If I were in charge, I believe in the death penalty. I would take charge. If you were accused of the crime, the facts were there, you got put in, you were sentenced to death, you would be put to death immediately. If the facts were there, you would be put to death. That's how I feel. Um, this is just my opinion. Please don't hate on me. I still love you all. Mwah.